What's up, guys? Today I wanted to talk more about USC's quarterback, Caleb Williams. I spent more than a week going through his situational stats and really digging into the analytics. In his last two years at USC, he didn't throw a single interception on third or fourth downs. On top of that, this past season at USC, Caleb didn't throw an interception in the fourth quarter or in the red zone all season long. Some of his advanced and split statistics really show how clutch of a player Caleb Williams really is. Let's go ahead and dive deeper and get right into it. First, let's look at his passing stats on third down, a key indicator of a quarterback's ability to operate in big time moments. Even as a true freshman in 2021 with Oklahoma, he threw seven TDs compared to just two interceptions on third down. But he was insane in 2022 when he transferred to USC and got paired with Jordan Addison. On third downs, he threw for 998 yards, 10 touchdowns to zero interceptions. And then this year again, not throwing a single interception on third down, he threw six TDs to zero INTs. For his career in college on third down, he was 149 for 220, a completion percentage of 67.7%, and he threw 23 touchdowns to just two interceptions, both of his INTs coming as a true freshman at Oklahoma. But then let's go even further. Let's check out how he performed in the third and fourth quarters of games throughout his career. In the third quarter, he was 160 for 244 in his career, a 65.5% completion percentage, with 26 touchdowns to just four interceptions. But he was even better in the fourth quarter, taking his game to another level. He only threw one career interception in the fourth quarter. It came in 2022. On his career, Caleb was 140 for 206, for 1,680 yards, and a 67.9% completion percentage in the fourth quarter of games. He threw 16 touchdowns to just one interception in the fourth quarter of his college career. It's clear that Caleb takes his game to another level in big-time moments, and when it matters most, he is the definition of a clutch player. We've already looked at passing numbers on third down in the third and fourth quarter, but what are we missing here? Let's look at Caleb Williams in the red zone. When you have less space to operate, defenses tighten up, and games are won and lost. And Caleb is at his absolute best. He is simply elite in the red zone. On his career, he threw for 61 touchdowns to just one interception in the red zone. Let me say that again. In Caleb's college career, when he was in the red zone, or as Matt Eberflus likes to call it, the gold zone, he threw 61 touchdowns to just one interception in his entire college career. That is insane. He completed nearly 72% of his passes in the red zone, going 122 for 177. He threw a touchdown nearly one out of every three passes in the red zone. An absolutely insane statistic. But let's transition over and look at his QB rating in these situations. On third down, he has a quarterback rating of 170.95. In the fourth quarter, he has a QB rating of 158.44. And in the red zone, look out. He takes his game to another level with a 223.87 rating. Just insane. Note, college QB ratings are different than the NFL slightly, but those are video game type numbers that are hard to believe even after watching all of his tape. Caleb Williams plays his best football in clutch situations and when it matters most. Just for fun, I wanted to go ahead and compare his numbers versus three other quarterbacks during their times in college. The three guys I chose were Justin Fields, Jaden Daniels, and Drake May for obvious reasons. First, let's compare him to Justin Fields. Justin had comparable numbers but didn't do nearly as much passing in his three years in college as Caleb did. But Fields did show an ability to take his game to another level in the fourth quarter and in the red zone, but not to the level that Caleb Williams does. As far as prospects are concerned, Caleb is much more advanced as a passer than Fields was, and this is without taking into account the three years that Fields has had in the NFL. So when you look at Caleb's arm talent, you start to see more and more reasons why Poles moved on. But let's go ahead and move on to Drake May. 
we can see that May was awesome on third down. He never threw an interception during his two years as a starter on third downs. One thing to note here is that Caleb Williams was a starter for three years, and Drake May was only a starter for two years. May's biggest struggles came in the third and fourth quarter, though, which is a red flag to me. His fourth quarter numbers were not impressive, throwing for just 11 touchdowns to seven interceptions in his career in the fourth quarter. I do like Drake May's game a lot, but looking at these advanced numbers side by side, Caleb wins again easily. And then we get to Jaden Daniels, who was a five-year starter and played with better receivers than Caleb did, but somehow threw less TDs than Caleb in two more years as a starter. Jaden was really good on third downs and played pretty well in the fourth quarter as well. Overall though, he was a five-year starter and he didn't really break out until year five. If you were to compare these guys side by side after three years in college, Caleb absolutely blows him out of the water. He broke out as a true freshman and his overall passing numbers dwarf what Jaden did overall even after five years in college. So there's really not much of a comparison with Jaden Daniels there. I do like Jaden as a prospect, but we have to remember he's an older prospect and his breakout didn't come until year five. Caleb Williams has one of the best arms I've ever studied, and I just keep re-watching more and more of his tape, and I end up more amazed at how many different angles he's able to release the ball at and how lightning quick he's able to get the ball out. His football awareness and arm talent are incredible. And then seeing all of his tape and then looking at the advanced analytics, his numbers in the fourth quarter and in the red zone really stand out. I keep going back to those red zone numbers. 61 touchdowns to just one interception. That's just insane to think about. And it's something I haven't heard anyone mention. This is also something that Matt Eberflus and Ryan Poles have talked about. A guy who takes his game to the next level when it matters most and in clutch situations. And when you go through Caleb's advanced stats, looking at how he plays on third down, in the fourth quarter, and in the red zone, it's clear he's one of the clutchest quarterbacks I've ever seen. It's taken me a while to get here, but I am all in on Caleb Williams being the number one pick for the Chicago Bears. I think he can be the franchise quarterback that we've all dreamed about. His awareness inside the pocket combined with his lightning quick release and insane arm talent, I'm ready for the draft to get here, and I'm ready to end the speculation, and I'm ready for Caleb Williams to lead this franchise to a new era of football. I think all of us as fans should get on board, and I truly believe this is going to be a new direction of Chicago Bears football, unlike anything we've ever seen, and hopefully we can be on the right side of history for once. I couldn't be more excited, guys. Let me know how you're feeling. I put a ton of work into this video. Please hit that like button for me. Stay tuned. I have a bunch more content on the way. And until next time, bear down.